Position's gonna be vacant real soon, Slick. I've got nothing against you, apart from the obvious hygiene issues. Michael caused me problems, so Michael had to go. You're looking at it rationally. There are people who are useful to you and people who ain't, and the people who ain't gotta go. Me? I'm not rational. I don't care if you're useful or not. I feel like taking you out, Devo. So that's what I do. This is a serious offer. Work for me, you'll have everything you'll ever wanted. All I've ever wanted is to watch you drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. Yes, yes! That's the kind of creativity I need on my team. Come on, come on, let me out of here! Look, I got my own company, Trevor Phillips Industries. Oh, yeah, a fellow entrepreneur. Let me buy a stake and give you money to grow. I don't know if you heard, but I'm kind of gold rich right now, so you got precisely nothing to offer. Prepare for the end, my friend. I'm gonna get you! Slick with a few minutes for some one on one time. Hey, we good, T? Never better, amigo. Franklin? I'll be here. <coughs> Franklin. All right, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and sound. Oh. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I pick C. Ain't that a bitch. You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism of the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two. Offshoring your profits. Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going you want? nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? 
<laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin. Goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. Keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As, uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. <laughs> Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh. Well, it's official, y'all. Y'all, I am a psychopath. Let's see what my thing says. Firebat channel from the office of Isaiah Island. Client note, highly confidential. Don't know exactly what to make of this one. Cannot make up his mind seemingly about anything. Raging ego will probably refuse to pay pill. Prone to being judgmental about some weaknesses, but not own. Sexually repressed, which is a good thing. Lazy and solipistic. Then again... So cystic. Then again, family is awful. Not much of an investor. Psychopath or sociopath? Both? <laughs> Frightened of too much change. Not very into yoga. It seems that they don't ever exercise. Like to stick to a small group of friends. ADD? What a fucking mess. Wow, that, that sure uh, that actually explains me to the T a little bit, almost. Is this how you played the game or something? Apparently. Thank you for watching. Yeah. It's been fun playing GG5 online. I mean offline. And now I can say this. I finally finished the story. Woohoo! Thank you for watching, y'all.